It is the possibility of those dark times that will bring changes to our daily lives. News 3's Keely Arthur shares how local law enforcement is working to keep everyone safe. I'm here at Madison College in the simulation room where officers in training are learning new ways on how to fight global terrorism. It's okay. It's okay. Scenes that only belong in nightmares <laughs> have become a frequent reality. From New York to Boston, Paris, and now Brussels. Everyone was in panic. We had to run. Each event of global terrorism is seared into our past it's gonna be okay. and has changed the days we've lived since. Terrorists study um, the security that we put in place. Just like backpacks were banned from most sporting events after Boston, security experts say we can expect big changes in light of the Brussels attack, which happened before any airport checkpoints. It's very difficult to get weapons, explosives beyond the security checkpoint. So they adjust to that, and one of the ways they adjust to that is set off your explosives, do your attacks before the security checkpoint. No matter where you're at, you're going to have to be uh, vigilant. Brian Landers, the criminal justice chair at Madison College, trains law enforcement to be throughout our area. We have about 2,000 different scenarios. Using virtual reality to give officers a taste of real-life terrorist situations. 10, 15, 20 years ago, uh, the thought of terrorism training uh, was not that prominent. Now we're, we're even putting it into the basic academy. And Lander says the way you approach things should change too. Live the life you want, but trust your gut. If your instincts are telling you that something is not right, act upon those instincts. At Madison College, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3.